Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2015 Mercedes-Benz GL550 in this gorgeous polar white color. This all-wheel drive, four-door, seven-passenger SUV comes equipped with a monstrous 4.7 liter V8 engine mounted to an automatic transmission. This vehicle is absolutely loaded with performance and luxury from bumper to bumper, so we'll start up front with some of the notable exterior features. Of course, you've got the very distinct Mercedes-Benz emblem in the front here with that very nice chrome grille. And you've also got the Mercedes-Benz logo on the hood as well. On the hood here, you'll also find a couple of vents up top for some additional airflow and style. And if we take a look at the headlights here, you'll find the massive projector beam bulbs. And just below there, you've also got the LED daytime running lights with that nice chrome trim. At the very bottom there, you've also got a nice chrome strip that runs along the bottom of the bumper and gives it a very, very stylish front end. The great looks continue around the side here with these massive 21 inch AMG alloy rims wrapped in the Nokian tires. And if you take a look just behind there, you'll also notice the Mercedes-Benz calipers there, as well as the slotted rotors. Like I mentioned, this vehicle is performance oriented and you've also got lots of tread on these tires here. As we continue down the vehicle, of course, you do have the turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. And you've also got the very nice chrome strip along the top and bottom of the windows there. And if we take a look just below, you'll find the running board that runs all the way along, making it nice and easy to get in and out of this SUV. And back here, of course, you do have tinted windows for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo, and that tint continues in back as well. And if we take a look up top, you'll find those nice chrome roof rails, which makes it nice and easy to add some storage to this vehicle if you choose to do so, though, of course, there is tons and tons of interior storage space in this vehicle as well. In the rear here, you do have the color matched roof fin antenna as well as the color matched roof spoiler with the integrated brake light. And back here, you'll also find a rear windshield wiper, which is a really handy feature. You've also got the GL550 badging as well as the 4Matic badging. And it's the nice premium touches like this chrome strip here that blends seamlessly into the tail lights. That is a very, very nice premium touch. Back here, of course, you'll also find the dual exhaust with the chrome tip, which gives it a very, very sporty look. And underneath there, you do have a hitch, so this vehicle does come ready to tow. This vehicle is absolutely loaded with premium and luxury touches like the proximity smart key system available to access all the doors, not just the driver's side door, which is, again, a very nice luxury touch. So let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at all the interior features. Like I just mentioned, of course, this vehicle does come equipped with that proximity smart key system, so it's nice and easy to get in and out of this vehicle. And of course, you do have your standard remote keyless entry options on the key fob as well. It's a very stylish key fob. And of course, you've also got the power lift gate button there as well. When you walk up and put your hand in the door there, you'll notice the mirrors fold out once you open up that door, which is a very nice premium touch. And of course, when you lock the vehicle, they'll fold right in again. Inside, you're greeted with this gorgeous brown leather interior. Of course, it is perforated in the center there for the heating and cooling functions of the seat. And you've also got the Mercedes-Benz logo on the door sill there, as well as this nice stylish silver accent piece just below the seat. In the footwells of this vehicle, you'll find the WeatherTech all-weather match, which make them nice and easy to clean, and they go all the way up the side there, which is a very nice feature to have in the winter. You'll be sure that you don't get the carpet underneath dirty at all. So let's go ahead and hop inside this feature-loaded interior and take a look at all the bells and whistles. The features inside this luxury SUV start with the push-button ignition. Simply put your foot on the brake and push the button to start the vehicle as long as the key is inside. If we take a look over at the driver's side door panel here, you'll find this gorgeous design, including the very nice segmented brown leather here that aligns the door panel. And just above, you've got this gorgeous wood grain trim that looks absolutely phenomenal. You really have to see it in person to appreciate it. Of course, you've also got the controls for your power locks as well as your power seat controls. And as an added bonus, you've even got a power adjustable headrest, which is a very nice luxury touch. You've also got the three memory settings for your driver's seat here, which is a very nice feature, so you can easily switch between seat settings when you're switching drivers. If you take a look just below here, you've got all of, all of your power window and mirror controls. And of course, all of your windows are one touch down, one touch up automatic. And you've also got those power folding mirrors like I showed you earlier but you can also just let the vehicle fold those in and out when you lock it and open the door. Just below there, you've got the power lift gate button as well as the button to open up your 
third row windows, which is a very nice feature to give you some extra airflow for your third row passengers. And of course, you've also got a little bit of extra storage in the door panel there. Just to the right of the door panel, you've got the controls for your headlights. And of course, those are automatic, as you would expect. And you've also got the control for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If you take a look up at the pillar here, you'll notice that these are the Harman Kardon speakers. And this is a fantastic sounding sound system. If you take a look on the left-hand side of the steering wheel here, you've got lots of different controls, as well as, of course, your power adjustable tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And you've also got the heating function there. You simply turn that and that'll turn that on and off. And if we take a look up top there, of course, you've got your turn signal stock as well as your windshield wiper controls. And underneath there, you've got the cruise control stock and that is the uh, radar guided cruise control. So you can adjust the follow distance here with this little knob, which is a very nice feature for those highway drives. And of course, you've also got the paddle shifters here which is a very nice feature to have. It gives it a very sporty feel when you decide to manually shift through the gears. Just behind there, of course, you've also got the gear control there. If we back up and take a look at the steering wheel here, you'll find a very nice four spoke design with the nice premium accents here at the bottom and that nice Mercedes emblem in the center. On the left hand side of the wheel here, you've got all of the controls for the screen in the center of the gauge cluster. So I'll go ahead and show you what's included in that in just a moment. And on the right hand side of the wheel here, you've got the voice recognition button as well as the Bluetooth hands-free calling buttons. And you've also got the volume rocker for the audio system as well as the mute button. So let's go ahead and take a look up there and you can see uh, at the very top, you've got the exterior temperature as well as the time. And in this very first information screen here, you've got the odometer as well as your trip settings. And you can see that, that this vehicle currently has 98,757 kilometers on it. You can also scroll through and check your range as well as your fuel consumption. And you've also got the eco display here so you can check how fuel efficiently you're driving. You've also got your from start and after reset stats. And you've got a digital speedometer here as well. In the next screen over, you've got your navigation so you can quickly check which direction you're traveling. Next, you've got your audio system so you can check what's playing and adjust it without ever having to take your hands off the wheel or even glance at your infotainment system while you're driving. Next, you've got your phone screen, so if you have your phone hooked up via Bluetooth, you'll be able to access it through that menu there. And next, you've got your driver assist. You've got lots and lots of driver assist to help keep you safe on your drives, including your assistance graphic, pre-safe brake, attention assist, blind spot assist, and your lane keep assist. Next, you've got the service screen here, so it'll let you know if there's any relevant vehicle messages or warnings. You can also check the tire pressure as well as assist plus. Next, you've got all these settings. There's lots and lots to go through here. You can really customize this vehicle to get it to your exact wants. And of course, you can reset that to the factory if you choose to do so as well. Finally, you've got your on and off road uh, screen here. So it'll display the height of the vehicle that you can adjust. And you've also got the control for the shocks there. You can see it's currently in comfort mode and it's set to auto. If you take a look in the center of the dash here, of course, you've got that infotainment system as well as a very nice design, that nice wood grain that continues all the way across there. This infotainment system is controlled by the little scroll wheel down here. So we'll go ahead and take a look in there. And of course, it does include navigation as you would expect. You've also got lots of other options here, including lots of audio options. You've got your standard AM, FM radio, and you've also got the uh, Bluetooth as well as a USB input and of course you've also got satellite radio there as well you can see as you cycle through you've got the different options at the bottom and you can use that scroll wheel to adjust it you've also got a CD input as well as a memory card you've got USB storage the media interface and you've also got an auxiliary input the next screen over is your phone screen. So if you have your phone hooked up via Bluetooth, of course you'll be able to access this and you can connect your phone through the screen as well. Next, you've got your video screen. So if you have a video in the uh, CD input there, you'll be able to display it on this screen here, which is a very cool feature. And next you've got the system. So you can check not only the time, but you've also got your 360 degree camera. And that'll of course come up as well when you're reversing, but you can also bring it up with this screen here and you've also got the seat controls this is a very very cool feature 
the driver and passenger side seat both have massage functions. This is an incredible premium feature and you can adjust the different massages. You've got your lumbar, the seat sides, the seat surface. There's just so many different options here and it is an incredible feature to be able to get a massage while you're driving. Of course, you've also got the access to your internet radio here as well as your apps, your internet favorites, URL input, and an owner's manual. This is a really, really cool feature here to be able to access the internet. And up in that corner there, of course, you've also got the direction, and in the left-hand side there, you've got the time as well. Just below, you've got all the inputs for the um, infotainment system as well, and you've also got the three-stage heated and cooled seats for both front passengers, which is a very nice feature to have. And of course, you've also got the button to toggle your traction control, as well as your hazard lights. And you've also got the passenger airbag warning there as well. Just below, of course, you do have the dual zone automatic climate controls for the vehicle. As you would expect, you can hit the auto button there to let the vehicle adjust the fan speed and heat to get it to your desired temperature. And you can adjust the temperature independently for both front passengers. Just below here, you've got a little storage cubby which would be great for something like a phone. And next you've got more of that wood grain trim here that reveals your cup holders. As an added bonus, you've got the heating and cooling functions, which is a super cool feature here to help keep your dr drinks at the perfect temperature. Of course, you've also got a 12 volt uh, outlet there as well. And you can also fold this behind to give it a nice clean and polished look. Like I already mentioned, this is the scroll wheel for that infotainment system. You've also got the back and clear button as well as your favorite button. And you've also got the massage function so you can bring that up right away by pressing that button and you'll see it pop up there so you can adjust it quickly and easily. Next you've got your drive mode functions here. Like I mentioned, you can lift this vehicle up. So if you pop this wheel out here, you can move, the, bring the vehicle up or down. You've also got the low range button here and you've also got this button which brings up your on and off road functions here so you can check the degree of the vehicle as well as the height of the vehicle and more. Of course if you press that button again you'll bring up the infotainment system. You've also got the drive mode selectors just down here you've got the auto function but of course you've also got sport mode as well as the ice snow and ice mode as well as tow mode and you've also got the two different difficult terrain modes. Next you've got this really cool fold out center armrest here that splits open instead of popping open backwards you've got that nice split and inside there you've got a USB input as you can see as well as an extra input there and you've got a nice bottom to this fairly deep center console here as well as a nice little tray up top for some smaller items to help keep things organized if you take a look in the passenger side footwell there you'll find the same great weather tech mats as well as a handy little cargo net here on the side for some smaller items and up top, you've got a nice glove box here with lots and lots of space inside, as well as the owner's manual there. And if you take a look over at the passenger side door panel there, you'll find that same gorgeous design, as well as the controls for the power locks and the passenger side window. And if you take a look up top there, you'll also notice that the passenger side seat also has the memory settings, which is a very nice feature. So you can easily set the passenger seat settings as well. If you take a look up at the mirror here, of course, you do have the programmable garage door buttons underneath there, so you can easily access your garage without having to dig out your key fob. And you've also got a handy little fold-out sunglasses holder, as well as the interior lighting controls, and of course, you've also got the controls for your massive panoramic roof there, which gives you lots and lots of light on sunny days, and of course, you can open that up as well to give yourself lots and lots of airflow. So that concludes the features up front, so let's go ahead and hop out and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle you have more of that same incredible brown leather seating that extends all the way across, as well as the WeatherTech all-weather mats in the footwell, and you've also got lots and lots of legroom for your second row passengers. Inside the back here you've also got these handy little storage nets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat. And back here you'll also find the rear climate controls, which is a very nice feature. You've got a tri-zone climate control vehicle, and you've also got the three-stage heated seats for both side rear passengers. You can also fold out this little cubby here for some extra storage, and you've also got a little storage pocket underneath there, as well as a 12-volt outlet. That's not the only outlet back here. There is another hidden outlet just under the passenger side seat there. You've got 
a 12 volt outlet here, which is a very nice feature. One that you may not see right away, but it is there, which is a very nice feature to help keep the devices charged up for your rear passengers. Of course, you can also fold out this nice little center armrest here. It's a nice padded brown leather armrest with a couple of extra cup holders for your rear passengers. If you take a look at the rear door panels here, you've got the same incredible design as we found in the front with that nice segmented brown leather and the wood grain. And you've also got the switch for the rear windows. As an added bonus back here, you've also got a little sun shade that you can pull across to help keep the sun out for your rear passengers and also give you a little bit of extra privacy. The really nice premium touch back here is that you have power folding seats. So if you press that button, it'll fold the seat right up, which is an incredible feature. It gives you nice and easy access to that third row. And in back there, like I mentioned, you've got the all weather mats as well as lots of legroom for your third row passengers. And of course that same great brown leather. Back here you've even got a couple of extra cup holders, which is a very nice premium touch. Another added bonus here is that you've even got the third row folding seats here. So you can fold those down with the power function as well to give you loads of interior storage space. So let's go ahead and take a look back there. Of course you've got a power lift gate here, so simply Grab underneath and that'll pop right open for you. And in back you've got loads and loads of interior storage space. And you've even got the switch for your rear seats here so you can fold them back up with the touch of a button. This is a very, very nice premium luxury feature. Of course back here you've also got the cloth mats if you wanted to switch those out to those Mercedes-Benz mats. And you've also got an interior light as well as a 12 volt outlet. And underneath here, You've also got a spare tire, as well as the tools to change it, in case you ever get a flat. An added little bonus back here is that you've also got a first aid kit, in case anybody ever gets in trouble, you can easily access that as well. To close the power lift gate, simply hit the button up top, and that'll close right down for you. That concludes this video walk around, but this vehicle is absolutely loaded with premium features from bumper to bumper, and there is so much that I didn't get a chance to show you. So make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota, located at 1200 Lead Head Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.